be a loser. <laughs> you just are, man. <laughs> Today we got Sam Adams' old fezzy wig. Rich and spiced. Uh, it's a seasonal beer. It's a re-returning beer, and it's 5.9% alcohol. What's re-return? Where does it say re-returning? On the uh, box over there. Oh, I was like, did I miss something? <laughs> uh, but it's back. I, you know, the label's uh, beautiful and everything, but you know what's even more beautiful? Our goddamn koozies. That's right. So I'm gonna slide that in. And there's only a handful of these black ones left, and we're probably not gonna do the black versions of these ever again, so I'd snag it now. Because we this is our third iteration. We had blue, we had white, and now black. Kind of like my soul during the holidays. That's sad. Uh, and Corey, what do we got to eat today? Today we're eating Motor City Pizza Company's Pepperoni Detroit Style Deep Dish Pizza. It's a delicious pizza at $6.60. Actually, I shouldn't say it's delicious. I don't know. I haven't tasted it yet. We've had one before with a bunch of meats. I don't know what you thought of it then. I have a weird... Okay, New Boston, Michigan. I was trying to remember where they were from. That's good. Okay, cool. There was one we did, uh, Outsiders Pizza Company made a Detroit style, and they're from Cleveland. You like it? You think... Cleveland's cool. I mean, I never heard anybody say I'm going to Cleveland on vacation. I mean, what's so good about Cleveland? Okay, I want this one. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> I'm going at it. This one has way too many pepperonis, but uh, this guy. Whatever, dude. All right, here we go. Motor City Pizza Co. Pepperoni. Cheers. Cheers. I'll put this on the ready. Mmm, that's really good. Mmm, that's so good. They put those like herbs on here that I love. Yeah. And you pointed this out when you were shooting the slow-mo. This is a greasy boy. How do they get all that grease on there from it being frozen? <laughs> Probably all the fat and the pepperonis. Well, duh. This is damn good. Crust is great. It's really, uh, I love those herbs. Me too. I was gonna show you this in our last pizza video, but I didn't. When we were talking about our favorite uh, pizzas, I love California Kitchen, mainly because they put a bunch of herbs on there. And it just takes up a level for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what herbs they're using, but they're damn good. This is the closest thing I think you're gonna find in the frozen food aisle to a Little Caesars deep, deep dish pizza. Mm. It's not Jets quality, because their crispiness is out of this world. A lot of times Little Caesars doesn't keep those in enough and they're kind of doughy like this, but this is like damn close. And I love deep, deep dish pizzas from mm -hmm. Little Caesars. Me too. So I'm really digging this. Wow, yeah, that's almost like garlic bread that has pepperonis on it. Yeah, and I like the sauce. Yeah, it really is good. I'm gonna have another one to put a little Sixer sauce on here. That was gonna be my pick. What's your thought on the middle slice? Oh, it's dumb. Right, you're holding just, like, literally decimating your hands. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, what are you gonna do, you know, but... Every once in a while, I like to make sure I can get my hands on a pizza bone. Like Pizza a, bone. <laughs> it's a good holder. Man, which slice should I pick? Decisions, decisions, I think I'm gonna you know? do this one. This one's got a nice crispy crust on the end, but still, like, a couple of peps. I really like this. This is one of the best frozen pizzas I've gotten. I need to start buying this one for my late night excursions. When I come home, blah, blah, bust in the door, kick my dog out of the way. Honey, they shut the bars down, I'm hungry. And I'll just make this and burn, almost burn the apartment down. And 660 is a good price, I feel like. I think so too. It's not the cheap end. No. But it's also not the $10 high end that some of them are at. I think you nailed it. This is one of my favorite frozen pizzas. And it's so different. So many of them are just the same circles mm -hmm. and like the same kind of flavor. This truly is a different beast. Damn, bro. Yeah, it's really hitting the spot. You guys need to try this if you haven't. I think we've had some fans that have really hung their hat on the Motor City Pizza Company train. Yeah, there's been some comments. I don't know if you can hang your hat on a train. <laughs> I've been on many trains. In in Chicago, no one hangs their hat on the trains. But if that, I'm just doubling down on it. Um, anyways, this is really good. And for all of you mm. who have ever commented about this company, you're damn right. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Sixer sauce. Mm -hmm. That was great, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is fantastic. I can't believe it's not more expensive. I would've thought this would be like eight bucks. Yeah. I wonder if, is this everywhere, I wonder? I feel like I don't see this often. I agree with you. I don't think we saw it when we'd go to Jewel. We switched up and went to Walmart today. I think if we would've seen this at Jewel, we'd've snagged it up. I'd love to know if people like on the East Coast and then our fans on the West Coast, like, do you see Motor City Pizza Company at your grocery store? Let us know. Can that be the comment today? That should be the comment. Have you seen it? How about where you live? Where, yeah. And if they have it. I want full address and have you seen this? Right. I wouldn't mind a social security number or two, just because I like. Yeah, to throw it in there. Why not? I <clears throat> got some stuff I'm doing right now on the dark web that I might need a few. It's interesting. If you type your social security number into the YouTube comments, it automatically turns it into stars. Wow, really? Yeah. That's good for YouTube, dude. This is the first frozen pizza I fully needed to leave the <clears throat> camera and get a paper towel. Yeah, will you give me one too? No. I'm greased up. I'm I feel like my my hands are feel like your forehead. <laughs> Guys, if you want to see the shame wizard and this greasy headed, I almost swore, but I don't want to do that. Uh, like the video, it helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel. New videos every uh, weekday morning. And uh, the comment today was, 
where do you live? And have you seen Motor City Pizza Company? Where you live? What do you think of it? Um, let's do a shout out. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. That's right guys, we've got a Patreon. It is the best way to help support creators. We get a monthly allowance from you guys that we know we have coming our way. That way we can make financial decisions and have to be worried about whether or not paychecks are coming in from Big Papa Google. So we appreciate <laughs> you guys doing that. Anybody who supports us knows the different tiers that are on there. If you don't know what they are, go check them out. It really is the best way to help support us. We couldn't be happier and more thankful for the 130 or so people who are on there supporting us and keeping this channel alive. I don't think it would be here without you guys and we just wanna say thank you. Please, Daddy Google, can I have some money? <laughs> All right, moment of truth. If you came here for a food review and you trust what we say, hello. Thanks for scrubbing forward to this part of the video. <laughs> the rating, uh, authentic Motor City Pizza Company, Eric McCloskey, drum please. Thank you, sir. All right, Corey, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether you're not, you like to enjoy it. But the main thing is, should they buy it? Six and some change? Six and some, 660. 660. Are you ready? <clears throat> oh, oh! Fantastic, especially for the price. It's one of the best tasting pizzas that I've had from the frozen food section, and that price is reasonable. Motor City, clip that, jump cut to this. He's right. This is one of the best frozen pizzas on the market today. Get it. You dweebs. Ah, I ruined it. Um, also, I will say though, one of the other frozen food companies, pizzas, that for whatever reason, the nutrition facts are out of a fifth of the pizza. <clears throat> oh, Just yeah. make it the quarter. Who's eating a fifth of the pizza? Uh, guys, we'll see you Monday for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with us. Um, don't forget those Sixer style shirts are still available in uh, men's and women's cuts. Sure. I'll have a drink of old fuzzy wig.